Welcome to my lecture online. What is the electromotive force? Well, when people began to realize that charges were flowing through conductors and they understood that that meant there was a current, a current means the number of charges moving through a conductor per unit time, which sets up a current density, the charge flow density through the conductor, and it was assumed that was caused by an existing electric field existing. But then the problem was that if you just had a conductor and charges were flowing through the conductor, they would begin to pile up at the end of the conductor and those charges would then set up a reversed electric field that begins to cancel out the existing electric field. And then eventually, as more and more charges flow to the end and more of them piled up on the end, eventually the reverse electric field would cancel out the existing electric field making the charges move and therefore the current would stop the current density would be zero and there would no longer be any current flowing through the conductor. So to keep the current flowing, the concept was that there must be some sort of force. There must be a force pushing the charges through the conductor or they would not continue to flow through the conductor. So there must be something there causing charge to flow through the conductor. And so the determination then was is since it's a force pushing the charges through, there must be an electromotive force. Something that keeps the charges moving, so electro for charges, motive for moving, there must be some force that causes the charges to move. And that's where the concept of the electromotive force came from. Now in the next several videos, we'll see that the concept is kind of correct, kind of not correct, because it's really not a force per se, and yet, everything in nature happens because of forces. So yes, it was not a bad concept, but we'll explain it a little bit more clearly in the next several videos. The concept was though, since charges need to be pushed through the conductor, there must be some sort of force, let's call it the electromotive force, pushing them through. And yes, it was due to typically a battery or some sort of voltage source causing the charges to move through it. So we'll see the connection between the electromotive force and the voltage provided to the circuit. They're not necessarily the same. So we'll see in, in a few more videos what we mean by the electromotive force exactly.